Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna eat some lunch here and guess what it is? Spaghetti. I love spaghetti guys. And I made a salad that's that cucumber and onions and tomato salad like Tosh and Stefan made. I made that also. So, I'm gonna have a good time here. So, Here's my salad. Hope you guys can see it. That's my salad. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. And I made some spaghetti. Spaghetti. I should have put more sauce in it, but okay. So that's what we eat in today, guys. And. We're going to talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll know when I'm having content. Um, give me a thumbs up so you can see more content that I have coming out. Here we go. First bite. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Tasha Steph was right. This is good with spaghetti. Mmm. Okay, so I got bell pepper onion in here. So let's talk about that. So when I was younger, I was sickly in the hospital. From the time I was born until I was like almost 12 years old. I was very spoiled. People say I'm still spoiled, but okay. Um, so I was in the hospital all that time. But I remember my dad, he worked at Laura Scudder's. It was potato chips, peanut butter, anything with Laura Scudder's on it. That's what he did so his job knew his job knew that he had a hand a handicapped child they were very supportive I remember I used to drive in to work with him and sleep in his sleep in his van and then at a reasonable time he'd come and get me and he'd come and get me because it was his lunch time or breakfast or whatever and I'd go in the cafeteria there were so many people there. I had. They bought me so many gifts. I got. Mm, dolls. Coloring books. Crayolas. Paint kits. Anything you can name. For a kid, I had a dog that was way bigger than me, taller than me. 
But every year on my birthday, they take me to the job, and that's what they would do for me. I had a lot of cards. Get well soon, cards, balloons, flowers. My dad really spoiled us. Well, he spoiled all his kids, but I know that I was a little, um, more spoiled than the rest because I was sick. And you know, the reason why I was so sickly, because I was born seven months, a lot of my bones and stuff wasn't developed. When I was born, the doctor pulled me out and messed up my hips. And that's the result of um, my arthritis here today. One of my legs are longer than the other. They try to correct it, but you know, they couldn't. No, my mom didn't sue them because you know, at that time in life, people didn't know about suing and how to go about doing it, so my mom took care of me. My dad took care of me the best way they knew how, and I'm thankful. Because I was told, well, my mom was told that I would never walk again. Mama said, not my baby. I can't carry her. So what she did was, every time I would come home, she'd get some dry ice. Well, I don't know if it was dry ice. I just know it was ice. And she would stab me on top of that ice until I moved. Stab me on top of the ice until I moved. And we got to a point where I was making steps without the ice. My mom was like, okay. Time for us to go show you the doctor. So, went to the doctor, and it was a long haul. I see the doctor walking down this long haul. So my mom put me on the floor, and she said, walk to your doctor. I got to making steps, leaning while I was doing it. But I was making steps and um, I walked to him and he was like so surprised and I asked my mom <laughs> she asked my mom how how he how she did it and she said if I tell you you're not gonna like it so I'm not gonna tell you just fix the other part fix her leaning fix her leg one leg being shorter than the other fix that um, again, I have to go through surgeries. So when they tried to fix my hips, I was in a cast from my hips all the way down to my feet with a bar in between.
<laughs> my dad used to call me Pissy P because they had to put a hole in it so I can go to the bathroom, you know. And so that calves were so stinky. Mm. So you should call me Pissy P. that on for probably about nine months, almost a year, to see if, you know, that would straighten out my hips. Now, it did straighten it out a little bit, but not enough for my limp to be noticeable. I still limp today. It's part of my life. What can you do? What can you do? You know, people look at me and they see me walking. Okay. I don't care. What can you do? Ain't nobody gonna make me feel bad about it. This way the God wanted me. So this is his will. Gotta do it. So you guys, that's how I became handicapped. Born seven at seven months my body wasn't developed like it should have been and the doctor f pulled me out and screwed up my hips mm. yeah nothing to do But live my life to the fullest. That's what I'm doing. I have no complaints. The way my mom and dad raised me. Or how they took care of my situation. I have no complaints. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. I want to thank you for... Thank you for like, comment, and subscribing to my channel. Please hit that notification bell. Please hit me a thumbs up. And you know what we all about, right? Peace, love, and happiness. Thumbs up, guys. I appreciate you. Give me some comments down below. Let me talk about it. And we'll go from there. Bye for now.